What's going on guys, it's going to be a video response to Break the Walls 10 video on uh, top 5 most disgraceful wrestlers of all time. Alright, um, pretty much, long story short, he made a list, I disagree with his list, although he did make valid cases for every one of his picks, but I'm throwing my list out here, and uh, yeah, it's no, 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 nothing personal towards him, he knows that, but in case, you know, anyone thought otherwise, but yeah, this is just my list, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think um, when it's all said and done in the comments below. But yeah, oh, and, and if you have a list of your own and you don't make videos or you just don't want to make a video on it, just leave your list down below who you think are the five more disgraceful wrestlers in order from, you know. But yeah, all right, I'm going to go from the bottom list to the top. All right, number five, Kevin Nash. Um, the way he left WCW, honestly, is it, it, it has a pretty significant influence on my decision of why he's in on my list. Um, just, uh, he tells Vince one thing, he does another, like, you know, it, 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 he should have at least had the audacity to go up to Vince or like at least phone him and say, well, I'm going to WCW, I'm just letting you know. He gave Vince his word and like, don't worry, I'm not going and leaves. And then when he gets to WCW, I'll skip ahead, I'll, pa I'll get past the NWO stage and I'll go to, uh, him, him as a booker. Um, you guys are wondering like, why do I hate him as a booker? <sighs> just ask Goldberg. And I'm pretty sure Goldberg will let you know his opinion on Nash as a booker. I mean, ending Goldberg's um, undefeated streak was one thing, but the way they ended it was just idiotic. And that was Nash booking right there. Um, and then I'll skip his WWE career because, honestly, it's it's garbage. I don't even need to acknowledge it. I just did, but I don't need to go into detail about it. Um, it just to, to, I'll skip ahead to today. Every shoe interview he has, he has to go out of his damn way to trash whoever the whoever he can t trash. I mean, whether it's fucking I don't know if it's the Miz. Like the Miz is a hot topic into in wrestling today. Um, like he just tries to trash someone that is relevant. That way he can be relevant by association. Like that's just how he is. He's an attention whore. Um, I'm glad he actually had the 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 decency to walk away from TNA instead of just be there milking them for money. Um, it, it's like the the shoe interview he had, the last one he had with X Pac, where uh, he's like, "Hey Nexus, what would you do if me and uh, uh X Pac would go down there and ask you guys to take a bump for us?" I'm like, "Dude, who are you to ask about taking bumps? Like, who are you to talk about taking bumps? Because uh, I'm pretty sure you didn't make it to the ring without tearing a quad." But he's just he's really disgraceful. I mean, he's bitter. He's just uh, I just I can go on for hours. But yeah, he's number five. Number four is Billy Graham. Billy Graham, I know, look, I'm 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 uh, aware of some of his. I'm not gonna say all. I'm gonna say some of his uh, major accomplishments to uh, in wrestling, um, his contributions and whatnot. But the one, honestly, the one thing that I always remember, and I it literally makes me cringe, is just how the the dick move that he did on Hogan. Um, I know that people know I'm not the biggest Hogan fan, but the point is. He pretty much tells everyone, I personally injected Hogan with steroids at WrestleMania 3 in the Silver Dome. <sighs> Is there no... I'm pretty sure there's an unwritten code of the locker room conduct. Like, where you don't do, you keep your mouth shut. Anything you see, you see a, one of your little homeboys over there, you know, snorting a line. You didn't see it. You see over there, you know, fucking this dude over here is getting high. Don't say anything. This dude just comes out here. Hey, well, I injected him with steroids. What's next? He's going to start going on a rampage. Yeah, well, I saw this guy do coke. This guy do coke. This guy was getting a blowjob by this chick. Uh, this guy was injecting him with steroids. Like, that is such a dick move to do. If you guys are probably saying, well, what's the big deal? Think of it this way. Let's say you're at school, right? And you get away with something at, at school and nobody knows about it. Like, let's say, um, I don't know, you cheated on a test. And then one of your, and you get away with it, you get an A or whatever. And then your friend comes out, who, or who you thought was a friend, or even just a classmate, comes out and says, he did it, he cheated, he does not deserve that grade. Are you really going to sit there and be like, oh, well, I got caught. No, you're going to sit there and be like, bitch, mind your own business. Why are you ratting me out for? Like, it's 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 done. It's never even, it wasn't even been brought up. Why are you bringing, you know? That's just such a dick move to do. There's more things that I hate about him, like including how he's bitter right now. And I know he's in bad health. But this is a list as far as wrestlers. As a human being, I don't think I have the most utmost uh, respect for him. But I still do feel bad that he's in bad health. Because uh, I'm not a heartless person. I do think that even like, I don't know, if Hogan were to die tomorrow, God forbid, um, I still would feel bad. Because I, I don't like his, you know, where he's at right now. But, he, you know, wrestlers are human beings. So don't get it twisted. I still feel bad that he's in bad health. But he's just he's such a dumbass like really i i can go on for hours but i'm gonna try and keep this short because i want to get talk to um talk about the main two more 
Number three, New Jack. I don't know what the hell the people like about you, New Jack. I mean, I, I know people are going to say, well, his stuff in ECW was great. What was great about it? Like, really? What did he do that made him stand out from, I don't know, Mikey Whipwreck, Spike Dudley, um, I don't know, anybody else. What did he do that made him stand out? Really, I want to know. Other than fucking blading a kid in the ring who's uh, underage. And people are going to say, well, we did ask for it. And yeah, I did go on record once. I know people that talked to on Skype know that I said this, that, well, the kid did ask for it. But he he took it to another extreme. And it, it, the way he carries himself today, he thinks he's the shit. Did you guys see him at Hardcore Justice? He literally thinks he's the shit. He thinks he's a big contributor to the old ECW. Fuck you, you're not a big contributor. I can think of many, many other guys um, when I talk about ECW that before I even get to New Jack. And but when I get to New Jack, I would just start shitting him because he has nothing. There's nothing nice I could say about him. Nothing. Zero. I mean, if you want to talk about ECW, talk about RVD, Tommy Dreamer, Raven, Sandman. Um, and yes, yeah, Sandman sucks at wrestling, but people still bring him up. Um, Taz, Sabu. Uh, even Mike Awesome, Jerry Lynn, like there's many other guys, Masato Tanaka, before we even get, the Dudley Boys, before we even get to New Jack, this guy is just such a disgrace, you know, <sighs> I don't know how the house Terry Runnels dating him, but she is, but yeah, number three, New Jack, number two is Lex Luger, Lex Luger is one of, if not the most overrated wrestler of all time, yes, even more than Hogan, um, this guy, just because he has a great physique, people think, wow, he was awesome. And I know I know where people are going to go with this, so I'm gonna, I'll am i talk about it a little bit later if I have time. If not, I'll, t I'll say something else. But, um, you know, he, he they, they try to push him to the moon, and I believe, and I think it was still NWA, in the late 80s, and it didn't work. I mean, ask, ask Gemini, ask Abara um, Jumura, ask uh, Harpo, ask, you know, ask any of those old, uh, old school NWA wrestling fans. Or you can even ask NWA wrestling fan. They'll tell you that the push they gave him, it was a it was a it was a push to the moon push, and it's, he didn't he didn't he didn't uh, you know carry himself well in it. Like they gave him the ball, they told him to run with it, and he walked with it pretty much. People didn't feel him as a face. People didn't feel him as a heel. He just he has no place in wrestling, honestly. Um, and it, and you know it brings me to his WWF career. You know people, if you may or may not know this, but he was supposed to become WWF champion at WrestleMania 10, not Bret Hart. But he couldn't hold his liquor and he got drunk one day at a bar and he spilled the results to some dude. That dude went and told everybody else and the news spread about how the WF Championship was going to change hands at WrestleMania 10. And, you know, Vince was like, well, I got to change it now because I don't want to look like an idiot in front of, you know, 20,000 people on MSG who are expecting the finish that it has leaked everywhere. So he had, of course, he had to let Brett win it. So, you know, people will feel sorry for him because of his SummerSlam 93 finish. But, um... He shouldn't because he was supposed to win, but he fucked himself over. So, you know, a real WF champion can hold his liquor and not spill the results. And then, you know, in WCW, he didn't really do shit, honestly. I'm not even going to go into detail. He didn't do anything for me in WCW, really. Um, and then, you know, it goes to his, um, then I'll go to post-wrestling career. Um, I, think this was, I think this was before he wrestled in Australia in WWE. But um, I honestly think, I'll keep it short and sweet. I honestly do think that he did have a lot to do with the death of Miss Elizabeth. I know people are going to say, well, I read this, I heard this, but I'm saying that. I don't think, I'm not saying I know everything, but I'm saying based on what I know, based on what I've read and heard, if I would have to come up with a conclusion right now, I would say that he did have a lot to in the death of Miss Elizabeth. And it's, it's, a, it's a shame for me to say that, but he did. And I know, again, like Billy Graham, he's not doing well right now. He's not dying, but he's not doing well, but... I'm calling it like I see it as a wrestler. He's a piece of shit. Never did anything. Never drew a dime. Never, you know, um, did anything for me, pretty much. And as a human being, he's he's almost that much more of a dickhead, really. And, you know, if, like I said, if, I honestly think that if it wasn't for him, Miss Elizabeth would still be here with us today, getting inducted in the Hall of Fame. But, yeah, number one, Chris Benoit. Um... I'm, obviously, everybody knows about his wrestling career, how amazing he was. Um, even to today, um, you know, when people bring up the, the topic of dream matches, his name gets dropped off, dropped around a lot. I mean, Davey Richards, Daniel Bryan, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, you know, all these guys that, they, uh, Davey, or I just said Davey Richards, um, all these guys that people wish they could have seen him wrestle against. We know, like, we know how good he is in the ring. But what he did, um, 
I know people were going to say, all, give their two cents about it. Well, it wasn't his fault. It was the drug. I, I know where you guys are going, but I'm I'm giving my side of the story here. What he, when he did what he when he did what he did, that just like it literally put WWE and just wrestling as a whole, TNA, anything, any any wrestling organization in the shitter for years to come. People think wrestling and they're like Chris Benoit. People think wrestling and they're like that guy would kill this guy. That guy killed his family. People think wrestling they're like steroids. People think wrestling they're like brain damage because of Chris Benoit. I know there was many other deaths before him that had, there were, that had to do with steroids and drugs and you know this and that. But when he he took it to another level, I mean, when when he did what he did, it wasn't just media coverage of that week when it happened. It was months after. Whenever they found out a little detail about what happened that day, or those two days, you know, they like not only like they not only put it out like put it this way. When the news came out about how messed up his brain was. They put it out there like, well, his brain was like, blah, 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 blah. And then they rehashed the whole story all over again. So if Casey didn't know, now you know, and now you can join along with Trash and Wrestling. And it's like, you know, his brain was messed up, blah, 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 blah. And that contributed to killing his family, blah, 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 blah. And then by that time, that person's just like, good Lord, this is just like, and then the, and it's where we are today. People shit on wrestling because of that. Um, it's just a really, really shame because I honestly... He will, honestly, if he didn't, if he, if he didn't do what he did, he still wouldn't be one of my favorite wrestlers, or at least not one of my top five. But he sure as hell was entertaining. So it's such a shame that what happened, but it happened. But um, yeah, I know people are gonna say, why isn't this guy? Why isn't this guy on the list? Oh, I'm sorry, that was my list. But yeah, why isn't this guy on the list? And if you guys want, if you guys have names, you know, like why it isn't I don't know Ultimate Warrior. I know people are gonna say why isn't Ultimate Warrior in here? Why isn't Hulk Hogan in here? Why isn't I don't know Kali in here? Why isn't Mark Henry in here? I don't know. You name it. Um, if if I get an an overwhelming amount of resp of res comments on that, I'll make a video on. It. If not, I'll probably just you know tweet something or just com reply to some of the comments. But yeah, that's my list. If you have a list of your own, uh, feel free to make a video response to Break the Walls Ten, um, or you can leave your list as a comment below if you don't make videos but uh yeah thank you guys for watching